Paddy, what was your earliest memory of football or playing football? I've got an older brother, so he's three years older than me, so uh, he used to play, I think the earliest he could play at that point was te under 10s. So just learning, kind of going and kicking the ball by the side of the park with him, and then obviously coming from a big football family anyway, but uh, I just really going and watching him and almost getting a three year head start really. And then by the time I was eight, nine, I ended up in the team, and then you obviously had a couple of years above yourself, and then just for the end, just that was it. But I, my earliest memory is just kicking the ball at the street, like that was all I ever done. As soon as I come home from school, you were out in the street playing football until you were shouting in for your dinner. You wolfed your dinner as quick as you could, you were back out again until you get called in with your mum at night. The lights went out, the street lights came on, and that was it. And that was just that was just where I was brought up, and everybody done that. Everybody done that. Most kids growing up would want to be like a, a striker and score all the goals. What drew you to being a keeper? Like Pretty much, I, I Again, my brother was a striker, so uh, and originally when I first started playing, like under t under nines, under tens, under elevens, I was a midfielder. Uh, I actually played. It came to a point where I ended up playing with the Rangers Supporters Association uh, for a few years in midfield, and then it just came. I just loved football, I was just obsessed with football, so even I used to jump in the goals at training just for a laugh at the end and then all of a sudden my goalie got injured one week and I played uh, and then I played a game after that and then there was a scout there from Motherwell and said we want you to come and train me as a goalkeeper and I said well I'm not actually a goalkeeper and they said well we think you're good enough so it just kind of snowballed for there so the next season I signed as a goalkeeper rather than as an outfield player and then obviously just got slower and slower over the years and just stayed in goals. <laughs> if you're visiting um, another stadium uh, and you're surrounded by fans that don't support you and say you're like the ball is in the, the final third in the opposite direction, can it be difficult um, with fans that like to engage with you? Yeah, again, that, that's the bit where fans are there to, it's, again, that's trying to set them up for a career because the, the, this is the reason why we send goalkeepers out on loan and we put them in these situations where regardless of what you do, for one half of the game everybody thinks you're great because it's your own fans and then for the other half everybody's just abusing you for, for 45 minutes because they're trying to get under your skin, they're trying to find that thing that's going to put you off, it's going to make you kick the ball at the park, it's going to make you give the opposition the ball back or give their team the ball back and that's, that's one of the biggest uh, learning curves for them as well. They actually, again going back to what I'm talking about earlier on, in, in terms of having a successful game nothing really has to change in terms of your communication, your positioning, your your decision making, your timing, your, your, your all, all these things come into play. It's only the external bit, and that's the bit that we say we try to block out the external, whether it's your own fans, whether it's the, the, the away fans, whether it's whether it's singing, whether it's somebody just giving you a mouthful for the for the back for no reason, and that that's the biggest thing. But again, goes back all, all the incorporating all the things you're talking about, keeping focused. So it might be concentrating on the game, so and and talking and communicating, so that you don't hear that guy shout. Or you don't, your eyes don't wander for the game. You, you remain focused for ninety minutes because, again, ultimately you need to you need to be focused for ninety minutes, whether you're really active or whether you're not active. Because, as you say, it just takes a split second to to, to be to be uh, be used in the game again.